Back here with Chip Patterson, Matt Norlander. Chip, that game was awesome. What a finish by the Wolfpack in overtime and just to get it to overtime. Yeah, we had Oakland's very first lead of the game it wasn't until 61 60 with about three and a half minutes to go. And from there, the game has six total lead changes, five total ties and all of that packed in to the final three and a half minutes of regulation and the five minutes of overtime uh, at the, the first two and a half minutes of overtime. Nobody could make a shot. NC State finds the shot making late, as you mentioned, uh, just a Phenomenal performance by the Wolfpack when the stage was the brightest and some of your stars are fouling out and still you found a way to win. Yeah, we're going to get to the Grizzlies, the Golden Grizzlies, just a second. Let's focus in here on, uh, on NC State because well, here's the good news. We were either getting DJ Burns or Jack Golke into the second weekend of the tournament, so we're all winners because of that. But for NC State, seven wins in 11 days to make the Sweet 16. There was a moment. Tough as it is to believe. Look at that top result there. That 94-85 win over Louisville. Yeah, NC State was trailing going into the half against the Louisville Cardinals, the worst high major team other than DePaul this season, Hakeem. And for them to pivot into just an incredible story, Kevin Keats was very much on the hot seat. Now he's got some of the safest job security in the ACC. <laughs> it's been amazing, and I say that in jest, but it's been amazing what this team has been able to do. In this game, Oakland had the momentum. In fact, it, it, it botched its final possession there, and that's why you don't want to. Sometimes if you're the lower seed or the worst seeded team in this spot, getting to overtime when the building is behind you can, can help, but it just doesn't register as good of a team as NC State. They needed to take advantage there. Then they went cold to start overtime. NC State had most of the answers, got the separation it needed, and so NC State goes on. Oakland still, though, one for the ages. Yeah, one for the ages. More on that in a moment, but how about Michael O'Connell? He hit that shot to force overtime against Virginia in the ACC tournament. Hits a bucket here and one to give them the lead, and then they had a look. Casey Morsell had a chance to win it there, a three-quarters court yeah. length shot. It went off front iron. The Gordon Hayward. That's yes. basically what that was. Yes. Yeah, great call. Yes. That's yeah. exactly what it looked yeah. like, and uh, uh, it's it's right here. I mean, it was oh so close oh my gosh. to going down, and it is NC State that gets it done in overtime. Um, I'm surprised here that DJ Horn was so ineffective in this game, and that really what's surprising is that not necessarily surprised about his team, but they rallied without his productivity with DJ Burns, with Morcell, getting Taylor into the game after Mo Diara fouled out there. What does that say about this team? Because again, th they're not even supposed to be here. Seven wins in 12 days. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. And they catch up like Oakland's a good team, but they do catch a break and not having to play Kentucky, Kentucky. in this spot. Yeah. Like without a doubt, with not having to get Kentucky, it'd be a different game. Very well likely could have been a different outcome here, but whatever. This is how the bracket breaks and why we love this tournament because you get unexpected second round matchups and then you get uh, a Wolfback team <laughs> out, of, out of nowhere making the Sweet 16. Uh, playing really well as a unit, shot 45% in this game, hit nine out of 26 three-point attempts. It was, it was an entertaining game. NC State was able to control most of it, and then as Chip mentioned, they didn't have the lead until Oakland didn't even take the lead until uh, the final couple of minutes when they when it looked like they were going to come from behind in, in through the back door and steal it there. But uh, but great job out of Kevin Keats and DJ Burns, uh, and even I, I want to do I do want to say this: we got a relatively entertaining game in spite of. You know, the whistle was inconsistent on both sides. Oh, that yeah. overtime, oh, yeah. The overtime session oh, yeah. felt nervy for Oakland. It felt nervy for NC State. It felt nervy for the guys in stripes there. But in my opinion, it didn't mar the game. If anything, I thought more sells and one. I didn't see the foul on that play. He got yeah. maybe it's a little bit of a bump on the side, maybe yep. a little bit, seemed my, maybe a little bit ticky tack. But NC State did deserve to win the game. Oakland gave him a great battle there. So now the uh, the Wolfpack are, are going to move on into the second weekend here. And once you you talk to coaches that wind up being in this spot, like. Like you mess around, suddenly you look up, you're in the Sweet 16. The opponents matter. Like, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher as you go along. But if you can just find yourself inside a competitive game with about seven, eight minutes to go, if you can get to that point, then that's really when the environment of this tournament and the pressure of this tournament can sometimes work in your favor. NC State is in the unusual spot ship. It is a high major program operating with an underdog mentality. And now, depending on what we see the rest of this weekend with Oakland out, it may be, I wouldn't say, no high major is ever a Cinderella for me, but it might take on the Cinderella moniker and 
continue using it in its favor. Yeah, so the reason why NC State was comfortable right now is because of its path to get here over the last 12 days. They beat the number three seed in the ACC tournament, the number two seed in the ACC tournament, the number one seed in the ACC tournament, a top four seed in the Big 12. NC State has played quality competition in tight tournament settings the entire way. So yeah, the draw is going to get a little bit difficult the rest of the way for NC State, but I absolutely believe that there is enough confidence within Kevin Keats's locker room for the Wolfpack to be able to pull this off. I mean, the D leadership you got from DJ Burns, even as DJ Horn was in a position where he wasn't able to be as much of a contributor offensively, it, you just knew that you were going to be able to feed the ball down low to the post and Burns was going to be able to deliver. We saw that 9 for 12 shooting, 24 points in the win. It is incredible to see what NC State has done. And look, it has been done before. 2011 UConn won five games in five days to win the conference tournament, and then they went on to win the national championship. Could history repeat itself at NC State? Sure. Why not? They head to Dallas to the Sweet 16, their first Sweet 16 appearance since 2015. More on the Wolfpack's big win in overtime here on CBS Sports HQ. Keep it locked.